So for those people who have been following NFL pretty closely, it is kind of disappointing um, and that if you're a fan of uh, Tim Tebow, to know that he has not yet been selected. Um, so, well, this is what is happening with him. Uh, Tim Tebow, he couldn't get any playing time last season when the New York Jets had three quarterbacks on the roster. So following the selection of Geno Smith last week, uh, they have six. Well, now they have five. Uh, Tim, Tebow, uh, Tim Tebow has been informed on Monday morning when he arrived at the team's facility that he will be waived and the team had put out a statement. Um, so the team said that they have a great deal of respect for Tim Tebow, uh, said the Jets head coach Rex Ryan. Unfortunately, things did not work out the way they had hoped. Uh, Tim is an extremely hard worker, evident by the shape he came back this off season. Uh, pretty much, I think he has lost, lost some weight. Um, and the Jets team has wished him all the best. Uh, well, after this, now Tim Tebow will have to pass through the waivers, uh, and teams have until 4 p.m. Eastern time today, um, that is Tuesday, to put the claims in for him. Tebow's NFL career is now in a major jeopardy, unless, of course, he accepts the role as a uh, as another player, uh, other position than the quarterback, which I highly doubt he would. But well, you never know. The Jets envisioned him as a Swiss Army knife of player. And Tebow played a bunch of roles from the early last season. Uh, he was a pass protector, he was a punt protector, he was a wide receiver, and even an H-back. Uh, the Jets also wanted to use him as a tailback, although uh, that never seemed to have happened. The Jets did do the right thing for the franchise. Tebow wasn't going to play uh, the next year any more than what he did this year. And the Jets had made some horrible decision under the former GM Mike uh, Tannenbaum and Rex Ryan. Well, Rex is still the coach of... Uh, uh, Jets. Well, they signed Mark Shanzis for a five-year, 59, whopping $59 million contract, and that was probably one of the worst decisions that they made. Uh, signing Tebow was bad too, but, well, what do you do, right? What is he, well, as of now, Tim Tebow has four choices. He can be patient. Uh, number one, he can be patient. Uh, he could probably, well, stick around the NFL. He could spend some serious time working on his mechanics. Um, he could look for a backup position. And I see there are four teams that probably uh, he could fit in. The Chicago Bears, um, the Washington Redskins, um, Jacksonville Jaguars, and probably the Arizona Cardinals. Hopefully he gets in one of these. If not, well, he could always come to Canada, uh, become a heel, become a superstar here uh, for Canadian Football League. Or number three, he could go on a mission. Uh, Tim has never been afraid to show the world that uh, he's a strong Christian. He has put his fame and money to good use by spending the, you know, he could put his fame and money to good use by um, spending a year or so in Africa, helping the poor um, in the United States and doing some good, maybe build an orphanage, raise some money for kids. This might be a good time for him. And last but not the least, he could start his own movement. Um, if former University of Colorado head coach Billy McCartney could do it, I'm pretty sure Tim Tebow can do it. He could fill the football stadium like he used to as a player. So let's wait and watch, guys. Uh, hopefully he gets selected um, as a backup in one of those four teams. If not, let's see what the next moves of this uh, fantastic quarterback is.